viewers have been left furious after the BBC decided not to broadcast the Remembrance gig for the victims of the Manchester bombing. The event marks the reopening of City's Arena four months after 22 people were killed in a fatal terror attack. This evening 14,000 people have packed into the venue to watch Snow Gallagher, the Cortinas and Pixie Lot perform. But the decision not to broadcast a special charity gig has caused anger online. One man wrote, had the attack been in London, I'm sure it would have been on TV but Manchester is too parochial for full network of TV to broadcast. Another said, why is we are Manchester not on TV? What a joke that while another man wrote it's what the BBC can broadcast the prompts but not do a single thing on we are Manchester? And one said, what a load of. Who watches this rubbish? Why haven't we got coverage of the proms? BBC Manchester and commercial radio stations Absolute and Radio X have been broadcasting live from the venue. But a presenter for BBC Manchester told listeners it would not be available on Catch Up and this was the only opportunity to hear the event. Mayor of Greater Manchester Andy Burnham opened the gig this evening by reciting the names of the 22 lost in the bombing. The 14,000 inside the arena cheered and clapped the names before he told them, Thank you to the city for coming together. Thank you for being who you are. We are Manchester, a city united. Nothing will ever change us, nothing will ever divide us. Families who lost loved ones and those injured in the terror attack three months ago are among the crowd at the sold out gig. The event is to honor those affected by the outrage, welcome back live entertainment to the venue and raise money for a permanent memorial for the victims. Suicide bomber Sal Manal Betty detonated his device in the foyer of the venue killing 22 and injuring scores of others at the end of an Ariana Grande concert, on May 22. The devastated area has been partly renovated and reopened for Saturday's event, titled We Are Manchester, to show the city will not be defeated by terrorism. A team of trained trauma specialists and mental health professionals is on hand for anyone who needs help during the emotional reopening event held amid heightened security. Additional screening on entrance to the arena is in place, with no backpacks or large bags allowed inside. After a pre-show DJ said from Clint Boone in Mr. Burnham's speech, a hush fell across the arena as poet Tony Walsh, who performs as Longfellow, began a passionate reading of his poem This is a Place. He moved crowds to tears at a vigil outside Manchester Town Hall the day after the attack with his work.
Saturday's recital, an ode to the city celebrating its achievements and spirit, was met with cheers and wild applause. He said, Tonight's going to be a very special and emotional event. The night's music entertainment begin with a set from Pixie Law. Later, comedian Peter K. Will introduce headline act Mill Gallagher and his band High Flying Birds, the Phoenix Knights star returning to the arena where he once worked as a steward. The lineup also includes performances by the Courtiners. Blossoms and Rick Astley along with sets from Bugsy Malone, and Nadine Coyle. All profits raised will go to the Manchester Memorial Fund, a charitable trust overseen by the city's Lord Mayor.